All right, we're back in the shop working on the old Cummins here. And um, we're doing the rear brakes, the parking brake specifically. We got um, needed dust shields to mount the parking brake. So I got the pads, the hardware, axle seals, and the backing plates. We're just going to start taking this apart. I got the wheel off. We got to pull the whole, whole hub and axle out of there. So it's a bit of a job to change the, the backing plate to put the parking brake on. We'll get to that now. Okay, so we got the brake caliper off sitting on the jack there and I'm going to start pulling the hub apart here. It is a 14 millimeter socket and there's a bunch of them there. I don't know, see this comes apart. Paper towel. Okay. Well, you're making a mess. <laughs> Maybe I'll get the um. Well, Alright, so first there's a clip here you need to remove. And then once we get this clip off, there's a little pin behind it. Comes off pretty easy. Might need pliers or something for this pin. I don't know. Your big monkey hands are in the way. It's just a square pin, it's kind of different. Should I keep my monkey hands out of the way? <laughs> and then after that, wow, it's just hand tight. Yeah, that was a little loose actually. You don't want any play in that, really. There's a special socket you can get for this. It's supposed to be 20 foot-pounds when you put it back on, but you can just kind of guess it with a pair of pliers. Did a better job than that, anyways. Yeah, exactly, Jeffrey. That wasn't 20 pounds. So I beat with the hammer a bunch and pulling on it, hit the hammer and nothing happened. So then I just came over, I gave it a little wiggle and all of a sudden it popped off, probably just like that. So I guess it broke it free hitting it with the hammer, but... No, you just did it and it popped off. Yeah, it was magic maybe, yeah. yeah. But, so this is what we gotta change. This is supposed to be here and it's, well, that's what's left of it here. <coughs> it's a great shape. Mint. Okay, so once you get the uh, the hub off and the bearings and all the little pieces, you're going to want to set them in a nice clean spot. Um, I'm going to clean them up a bit more and I'll put them on a new clean paper towel after that. 
getting ready to be go installed back in. And uh, I'm gonna want to do the same thing with the hub. So the hub's over here, sitting in a paper towel. The axle, I'll clean that all up, make sure it's nice, clean, ready to go back in after. And um, same with where it sits. Where the seal sits here, and uh, where the bearing sits here and here, you want that both clean. I guess the outer bearing would be here. A anyways, you'll want that all nice and clean so it's sealed good and seated nice. And um, there's four on the back after that. If you're doing the dust shield, there's uh, four 15 16 uh, bolts in the back. You need a good wrench. They're on there pretty good if they've been sitting like this. This, I guess, is probably the original dust shield. There's not anything left of it. And then um, if, if you do have your, your parking brake on there, it's a good idea to take a picture of it so you know it goes back on. Otherwise, just continue watching and I'll show you how it goes on. All right, she wanted to see if she'd get one of them off by hand. By hand? Yeah, without the impact. <laughs> you got it. You might have to move the wrench now. I moved it. You got it. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> Right, so on the back here, there's four bolts that hold what holds the uh, parking brake assembly and everything on there. I already hit the hammer brake at least, it didn't take much though. And it's pretty rusty. But yeah, this just pulls off and then you can put, put it on a bench and break whatever's loose it'll open off and get it ready to put back on. Alright, so once you got everything off, kind of stands before, you want to start cleaning all this up. Make a nice clean surface for that to meet against. And then um, on that piece that you just finished taking off there, you're going to need to put the nuts back on, try to get them nice and even at the end of the stud here, and then you're going to pound them out with a hammer, try one by one. Something like that. And then you're going to take those off, maybe use an air hammer, a hammer and a chisel, something like that, and take the rest of this old backing plate here. And pry all that off and get rid of this boot. It'll be a new one with your hardware kit and then clean that all up the wire wheel, get that ready to go back on. Give it Lombo. Give it good. Ooh, nasty. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> I to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's gonna be a bad day. I think it moved that last hey, one. Yeah, the last one looked like it moved a bit. I can't aim good when I'm hitting hey, it hard. Yeah, you I did it then. I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one end, but. Anyways, you get the idea. Alright, so this part of the wire wheel. When you clean that up, it's a good idea to put some, at least a dust mask and some safety glasses on. Just go over that, clean up a bit. You don't have to get it perfect, but just to, you know, make it a little more presentable kind of thing. And then um, you start pounding the studs back into the new backing plate. Alright, you're going to need to clean this up too. This one here is seized. So I'm going to soak with some penetrating oil, hammer it back and forth, a bit of wire wheel, brake cleaner, sort of thing, something like that. So yeah, you want to make sure that this can pivot like that. It was seized right up. I was surprised how hard I had to hit it. I had to clamp it in the vise really good. And then uh, it started slowly moving more and more, still going penetrating oil. I'm going to clean with some brake cleaner now. Maybe wire wheel, get nice and new looking, and put some grease on and ready to go. Alright, there it is. Oiled up, back and plate. Ready to be installed back on in the truck. Actually, no, I got to clean that still. Alright, so for brake pads, good idea. Lay all your little parts, your hardware out. You get it organized, figure out what goes where, how many parts each side sort of thing. And then, um, first thing you want to do is put on one, one of your brake shoes. Uh, that'll take your little pin, your clip in the back. And then once you got your one on, you're going to want to put the big spring on first. Now I'm on the passenger side here. This big spring is going to go on the, uh, the top. 
That'd be the opposite for the driver's side. And you want to put that on first because if you try and do that after, you will not be able to get this spring in. Uh, maybe you can, but it would be tough as hell, vice grips and stuff, trying to pry and get that in there. You're better off trying to put this on both shoes and then you pry your shoe over that there. And that's really the best way I've found to do it. Okay, so once you got to this point, this is where you want to put the yellow spring in. And it goes in the top on this side. Just kind of twists in like that. It's a little different. It doesn't have a hook, actually. It sort of does, but... Not like the green one, I'm sure. Yeah. No, it doesn't actually hook right back with that, so... It's a little different to put on. So then, yeah, you're just going to put it on the other side here. So yeah, you're just going to start here, and you're going to pull it up and over, kind of, sort of. Thing. So basically going to get it like that. You really don't want to touch this shaft too much. You're going to try to keep it clean and not scratch. But you're going to get it like that, and then you're going to pull this back and up and on top, kind of, so it sits in here. Once you got the brake shoes on there, this is what it should look like. Your springs, pins, clips, everything. Um, the spring clips on the back, if you have a hard time, the other side I found went great. This side I found gave me a hard time, so I ended up using a little pair of needle nose vice grips to hold the, the clip squeezed while I hooked it on there, kind of thing. I found that worked pretty good. So um, now I'll put the hub on, I'll put a bit of oil on there, put the hub on the clips, and we'll get that all back together. For the uh, axle seal, just gonna take a chisel and a hammer and tap around here. I had it on the side when I did it and just tap around. It comes off pretty easy, just three, four hits and it should pop off. And then you're just gonna clean that up. Be careful, the bearings could fall out. I'm gonna keep that nice and clean. And then just clean that up and uh, put the bearings back in, tap the new one in. Say maybe use the, uh, like a piece of wood or something to hit the new one in. You don't wanna hit the hit the rubber around here. You wanna keep that all nice and, nice and mint. You don't wanna damage that at all. If you do decide to just hit straight on the seal, you can. Just uh, make sure you don't hit the rubber. Just hit around the metal edge there, and then it should go in just fine. Just be careful. That's all.